Hello class, it's me again, Mr. Gaiares of Zeris, and we are now in the last part of our topic, Rizal the Traveler. So, Rizal in Europe Part 2. So, makita nyo yung picture ni Rizal, no? nakita nyo sa left side, yung mga kumpara nyo, fencing. Uh, Rizal in the center, or at the center, would be si Rizal. So, tinan nyo yung buhok niya, no? And then, we have here, I don't know, I know if you're uh, like, if you like cosplay, but uh, yung cosplay, wala yan, di na bago yan, okay? Panahon ni Rizal, nagko-cosplay na sila. Take a look at the picture on the right side. And I hope you can find Rizal where he is. It's a picture. Okay? So, let's have uh, the discussion. Pagkatapos ni Rizal graduated after he graduated in Universidad de Madrid as a eye doctor at the same time with philosophy and letters, uh, what are his activities in Europe and uh, what are the places he visited and uh, his observations? So, sumahan niyo ako sa huling bahagi. ng uh, ating uh, aralin, Rizal the Traveler. Ang unang OFW, sabi nga. So, Paris to Berlin. Okay, so, from Paris, 1885 to 1887, he went to, uh, Rizal went to Paris after graduating at Madrid and in Germany. There's only one reason to specialize in ophthalmology. So, ophthalmology is, of course, being a doctor uh, in eye ailments. So the main reason, as we all know, the main reason he went to Europe to uh, take the doctor of medicine was to cure his mother's eye ailment. May sakit na kasi sa mata si Teodora nung pag niya. And then he continued his secret mission, and that is to observe the European life. Okay, and another activity done by Rizal is he befriended lahat ng matatalino mga German scientists. As we all know, the German scientists are awesome, but most of them are used, of course, like Albert Einstein. So, during the time, uh, Germany is a hotbed of scientific ideas and uh, scientists have this uh, circle wherein you could uh, read papers and you could just interact, share your knowledge. So, Rizal, uh, despite of being an Asian during the time, he's taken note of that. He was able to penetrate the top ranks of, of the German scientists during the time. So some are Dr. Jagor or Hagor, Mayer and uh, Virchow, okay? So, Rizal in Paris, okay, 1885, he lived for four months. Uh, anong ginawa niya? He, parang nag, nag apprentice siya kay Louis de Weckert, okay? He's the leading French uh, ophthalmologist from November 1885 to 1886. So, to further hone his craft, he decided to become an apprentice. And he, this is his diary. With respect to the study of the ailments of the eyes, I am doing well. I know now how to perform all the operations. I only need to know. what is uh, going on inside the eye, which requires much practice. Okay, so that was the results letter, dated January 1, 1886. So, uh, outside his work, what is the preoccupation of Jose Rizal? Okay, so dapat malaman natin. Um, he, spent his li he spent his time visiting his friends, uh, especially the Pardo de Tavera, and of course the painters. So Rizal, Uh, Rizal's friends are actually, most of them are artists, and uh, as we all know, Rizal is a passionate artist, uh, especially for the painting. So Rizal had fun with Luna and Hidalgo at their studio, where he improved his painting skills and posed as a model for several paintings. So you know what, class? Sasabihin ko to sa inyo, ha? Makinig kayong mabuti. Anong dahilan bakit kayo nag-college? Okay. Perhaps in your, in, your, in your mind, you would just like to have a diploma because that was your, that's what your parents want, uh, want you to have. But you know what? College is a very important part of your life. Remember, the, that is the last stage of your education. If there's one thing that you have to, uh, that you have to uh, accomplish in your college life, it's just like this. Uh, what is that? Establish connection. Magkipagkaibigan kayo sa mga tao na kapag nasa industry na kayo, ay pwede nyo maging katulong o maging katuwang and maging kapartner, pwede nyo hingan ng tulong. Okay? So, medala sa Facebook, nakita natin mga artist. Uh, they will post something that would justify their craft na, oh, hindi kami libre, ah. bayaran nyo kami. Uh, we studied for years, we spent a lot of uh, blood and tears for this craft, and then, sasabihin nyo, libre lang ang wedding uh, photography, libre lang yung design ng gown, hindi pwede ganun. So just like Rizal, he associated himself, in order for him to improve himself as a painter, he associated with, of course, the masters of the brush, Luna and Hidalgo. Okay? So that was his... Uh, That's the way uh, Rizal relaxed. So, hanapin natin si Rizal. There was a, 
This was a painting by Juan Luna, The Death of Cleopatra. Cleopatra, of course, is an Egyptian queen. So, tingnan natin, hanapin natin sila sa... Tengel. <laughs> uh, si Kumparing Pepe. <laughs> Pharaoh. Uh, pang scribe. <laughs> Eto. Another work, uh, The Blood Compact. There goes Rizal. Okay? So, sir, why do you need the model during the time? That's how they paint. Oh, sorry. It's a spoiler thing. So, we can see here Rizal again uh, enjoying some of the cosplay during the time with with uh, the the sisters. No? And these uh, are his friends. Juan Duna on the, ta on the left uh, part. Jose Rizal at the center. And uh, Valentin Ventura. The, the, the card says Madrid. Um, December 1886. So, that's how the rich kid uh, feel Filipino would spend their time. Yun yung mga status symbol. <laughs> Is Rizal a good, was Rizal a good musician? Uh, let's, let's learn from Rizal himself. Sabi ni Rizal, I learned the solfeggio, the piano, and voice culture in one month and a half. But if you could hear me sing, you would wish you were in Spain because my voice is like the brain of the asses. So, he is humbled enough to admit that, yeah, he knows uh, a lot of things about music, but it's not really a sport thing. It's not bad. Remember, the, the spirit of Renaissance is true to Rizal. What Renaissance wants you to do is to be a master or jack of all trades, but the master of none. So, sabi ng Renaissance, dapat may alam ko sa lahat ng bagay. And to tell you honestly, our educational system right now, it's still patterned heavily to uh, the Renaissance thing because ang dami yung subject na inaaral. Uh, <laughs> gusto ng education natin na may alam ka sa lahat ng bagay. And then you get to specialize uh, when you go to college. That's where you specialize for four years para sa gusto mong course. But uh, in fairness, Rizal came to play the flute uh, fairly well. And he said he even composed some songs, particularly Alin Mang Lai. Okay, so, marunong din naman, but not really sporting. Another, La Deportacio, which he composed in the Pita, which you really said. So, there's a certain place where Rizal actually fall in love. And uh, it's highlighted because of the poem uh, he managed to compose when he visited the place. Rizal at Heidelberg. <coughs> so, the Heidelberg is actually in Germany, and Rizal went there February 3, 1886. He played, still in the... Uh, Rizal is in Germany, okay? Please don't be confused. So, he, usually he played chess with law students. Talino talaga si Rizal. And then he transferred to boarding house uh, near the University of Heidelberg. And again, to further hone his craft as an eye doctor, he trained uh, under the University Eye Hospital under the direction of Dr. Otto Becker. And he attended lectures of uh, other professors. And of course, alam naman natin si Rizal, mahilig siya mag -observe. So during his uh, free time weekends, he visited the scenic spots, okay? Like the Heidelberg Castle, the Necker River, theater, and old churches. So this is where uh, he noticed that the Catholic and pro uh, Protestants in Germany live in harmony and cordiality. Please take note that one of the bloodiest wars ever in the history of the world is the religious world war, wherein the Catholic and the Protestants are actually killing each other. But during the time of Rizal, they managed to be cordial and just make uh, respect of their faith, okay? So, here's the thing. To the flowers of Heidelberg, a las flores de Heidelberg, April 22, 1886. So, alam naman natin si Rizal, kapag na-homesick siya, okay? Namimiss niya ang kanyang bayan. Gumagawa siya ng tula. And uh, even like, if you remember Singapore, uh, despite of being awed by, by the scenic spot of Singapore, he compared it to what he has in his native land. Ganon din sa Necker River. He saw the flowers. And, uh, yeah, he was impressed, but sabi niya, meron din kami niyan. Okay? And he was able to relate it to his favorite flower in Calamba, the uh, forget-me-not flower. That's why, out of that being homesick and because of the inspiration of flowers, he was able to compose a poem, Alas Flores de Heidelberg. Okay? So, grabe, no? Pag na homesick kayo, anong ginagawa niyo? And um, I would like to close this lesson with, with a very uh, good uh, story or account about Rizal and a pastor. Remember, Rizal is a Catholic, but during this time in Europe, he became an agnostic theistic. What is agnostic theistic? Meaning you say you believe in God, but um, okay, uh, let's leave God at the sideline. Let's focus on science, okay? He's not denying that there's a higher being, but 
is uh, focuses theistic and we say, okay, let's focus on science. But I'm not saying that there's no God. That's that's the belief of Sarasel when he uh, went to Europe. And I remember his background is super strong Catholic and it was changed by the liberal uh, atmosphere of Europe. Okay, three months, summer vacation with a Protestant pastor, Dr. Carl Ullman. Okay, and he became his good friend. Uh, according to his account, let me read it to you. I thank you very much once more. You may also receive when you are abroad the same treatment and friendship as I have found among you. And if being a foreigner, I can do nothing for you in a foreign country. I can be of some service to you in my homeland, where you will always find a good friend. If I do not die, of course. The joy of being understood by other people is so great that one cannot easily forget. You understood me too, in spite of my brown skin, which to many people is yellow. Kaya sila pagkakamal ng Chinese or Japanese. As if hat were puzzling or absurd. So nagkaroon sila ng good connection ng pastor na ito. And the last one is, familiar kayo sa Blooming Treat <laughs> Station. Nakaraan, ano, Muraita, no? si Muraita. Uh, professor pala yan. Tapos yung pangalan na ng street. So, another professor, uh, renowned professor, uh, where, uh, which Rizal developed uh, lifelong friendship. Sabi ng iba, bakla daw si Rizal. Kasi dahil kay Bloom Tutuba. Ibabae mo nga si Rizal. In July 31, 1886, he was, uh, uh, he wrote his letter to Professor Ferdinand Blumenthal, the director of Ateneo of Litzmiritz, uh, Litzmiritz, Austria. Okay, so Rizal is, uh, Rizal is uh, very uh, eager to know a lot of scientists and uh, brilliant minds, okay, especially if that uh, man has an interest in Philippine languages. So Rizal sent him a book, Aritmetica. Published in two languages, Spanish and Tagalog, by UST in 1868. And Rizal's letter from Heidelberg impressed Blumentritt, who reciprocated by sending Rizal a gift of two books. This started the lifelong friendship of Rizal and Blumentritt, and Blumentritt eventually will become the uh, confident or pinagkakatiwalaan ni Rizal sa kanyang buhay. And right now, he, he is an LRT station, and whenever you see the Bloomington Station, remember, it is. it came from a man who is a best friend of Rizal, a very intelligent and uh, intellectual man, whom Rizal made a lifelong friendship. Okay? So, what can we observe with Rizal? So, Rizal, again, is very active and he doesn't waste time. Another thing, he loved arts, very, very passionate in arts. And also, he befriended, uh, not para lang makipag, ma, makimasabing matalino siya, but he is very thirsty in learning. That is why he's very eager to learn from the best minds. So, sana tayo, no? Huwag tayong maging mayabang. Okay? Sana we are humble enough to admit na, okay, we can learn from, from people. And if, if somebody is magaling, mas magaling sa atin, wow, you welcome that person because you will learn from him. It takes a lot of humility, intellectual humility, for us to learn from each other. Kasi pag sinabi natin na, hindi, mas magaling ako dyan, wala nang matututunan. You are actually closing your progress. You are actually blocking your progress. But, like Rizal, kung gayahin natin si Rizal, he wants to learn from the best, okay? He wants to learn from the top uh, brass. Why? Because alam niya, kapag magaling ang uh, nagtuturo sa'yo, it would result na magiging magaling ka. So, dear students, uh, you'll be professional someday. I hope that you will take into account na you will never stop learning and you will always be humble to learn uh, from, from people, especially for, for from people who are expert or veterans in the industry. Okay? So, with this, we are closing the topic result as a traveler. Good evening.